Good morning, class of 2023. I got to say, I do love CUNY Law School because of what it represents and where it represents and uh, coming to the ceremony today. It's a uniquely Queens thing to have the ceremony open with all the different languages spoken by, uh, by the students and their families, including Quechua, which my Peruvian wife will appreciate when I tell her that that happened. But, um, but I, didn't, I didn't see any Greek on the list, so. <laughs> Let me just say then, Sikharitiria, kalos irthate sis ikoyenye, sis filus, kasolus. Ευχαριστώ που ήρθατε να συγχαρείτε τους μαθητές της 2023. I don't know if anyone understood that, but it's the same thing everybody else said. Uh, I, I, do, uh, I do love what CUNY represents, not just because it's in Long Island City now, which is wonderful, uh, but because it is the leading progressive law school in the country. Uh, and and we fancy ourselves in the state senate the leading progressive voice in New York state government as well. And so we appreciate that synergy. Senator Bailey, your own Senator Bailey, uh, and I uh, have been working very hard to advance uh, so much since we took the majority just a few short years ago. You know, the state senate was in Republican hands for about 100 years uh, until we now have the largest Democratic majority the state has ever known. Uh, and we've been able to do some amazing things including uh, one of the most impactful things we have done was uh, reshape the state's highest court just this year. We had a big confirmation battle, and where we ended up was with the great Chief Judge Rowan Wilson at the State Court of Appeals, first black chief judge in the history of New York State, and, and his accomplishments are not just demographic. He is known as one of the great progressive voices in our judiciary, so we're thrilled to have him leading the way for us. By the way, Jamal and I are the uh, two leading Knicks fans in state government, so let's go get it tonight. Let's go get it tonight. <laughs> you should have seen us watching, watching game four. It was ugly. But, but uh, to the students, I want to say, look, you, you, have, you have a special responsibility, not just because you're going to be members of the bar, but because of where you're educated and what your background is and the uniqueness that you bring uh, to your community. We saw it a little bit 15 minutes ago, right? But we, but we expect that kind of activism. We expect that kind of organizing from you. Uh, I, we have done a lot to repair our criminal legal system uh, in New York State the last couple of years, and we have a lot more to do. But we work very, very closely with so many people who are sitting in your seats uh, to accomplish that. People who are now gone on to work for important organizations that do the research and do the advocacy. Your own Professor Zeidman is on us all the time about making sure we are doing the right thing. And those of us who sit in these seats, which one day you will as well, I'm sure many of you, rely on all of you to hold our feet to the fire, to tell us what we're doing right and wrong, to tell us how to do it better. And that's the education that you've gotten here at CUNY Law, and that's what we expect from you in the years ahead. So congratulations to all of you. Congratulations to the families. We're expecting great things. It's great to be here today.